All right before the video starts i just want to let you guys know that g portal is offering us a five percent out discount to all your server needs so if you guys want to host your own server starting at one dollar you can get five percent off uh different games as well like arc and other games like that so farm summer 2019 if you guys want to host it with your buddies with your pals and, and play a huge dedicated server so we can look here and in three minutes you can be locked and loaded all the way up to like 20 you, i mean you can get it obviously you don't want to do that but like 14 people you can host for 3, 30, 90 days, 100, half a year, a whole year. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you live. They have servers for you. So if you guys want to check that out, 5% off in the description below if you use that link. Uh, and yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions about that in the comments. All right, Garrett, today is a big day. We're going to be making a trade. We're going to be making a purchase of a new truck. You got your hair all done, shades on, your, your girl shirt on. We should be <laughs> good to go. Is your belt tight? It doesn't look that yeah. tight. Uh, it, it's tight. It's tight. Is yours? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make another loop here soon. Let's go ahead, jump in the machine get shed, guys. Oh my goodness, Garrett, what do you? Th it's been like two, three days in, that we've had it on the farm, looking pretty good. Yeah, guys, we kind of changed the layout inside of it. You might also realize we're missing something. We'll go over that in just a sec. But yeah, we decided to go with this layout just from different use and stuff. Uh, we found that this worked the best. All right, so we are about to take the 2014 Lizard pickup, just the in-game truck. It's not it's not the best, so we're gonna go ahead and trade that in. Garrett, if you wanna grab it, I'm not sure where the Mahindra's at, but if you wanna grab that and follow okay. me on down, we are about to go make a oh okay, let's not put dents in it before we take her to the shop. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and peel out here. We do need to spray weeds on the new grass that came in quite nicely. The oats are in as well. We just need a little bit of crop protection there. Actually, I don't even think we can spray them because the oats are fully grown. I can't remember how that works. Anyway. You and the Mahindra? Yep, yeah, the Mahindra is actually at the chicken coop, and okay. guys, our chickens are doing good. I think our coop's actually full right now uh, of chickens, because roosters have been making babies. So, I think we might upgrade in the near future, so just keep an eye out for that. Yeah, we might have to we, we might have to make a whole nother chicken coop just to, just to keep things going. Uh, yeah, super cool, though. So, oh yeah, you got eggs, too. Yeah, okay. Make sure your back's loaded up there. I think it's open. Yeah. Yeah, it is open, but it kind of has to stay open because they to. don't fit. So we have our straps nice and tight. Cool, cool, cool. So drive super slow. He's got eggs back there. We're going to make a sale. Oh, my goodness. I need to stay on the road. I want to get rid of this truck. It's not. We can't haul. There's no gooseneck attachment. I mean, we can do bumper hitch, but we have a gooseneck trailer, PJ trailer now. So we are going to be trading in for a used 2011. I, I will show you guys here. We gotta build some. We gotta build some suspense as we go up this hill here. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna trade it in. Let's see what we got going here. I don't. I've been thinking about it. And also, we did get rid of our 3500 Chevy HD Dually. That thing would not go fast like anywhere, and it was it was troubling. And also, our 6R is at the shop too. It's getting worked on. Yeah. Yeah, guys, lot, lots has been happening off camera. It's been kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, here it is, guys. This is what I'm thinking about making the trade here at Carlos. He was able to hook, a, hook us up with a used 2011 Ford. It's got dualies on it. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Perfect. Ooh, I like the color. All right, so it's Power Stroke. It's a 3500 Super Duty. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Start her up. Ooh. So it's gonna come with a transfer tank as well. So this is gonna be really good, Gary. I, I feel like we're always, always like running out of gas, like in the field, running out of diesel, and super annoying. And then also a gooseneck hitch. That's the most important. Yeah. And a uh, bunch of room in the back and everything. And we should. I'm gonna make the trade. I think I'm gonna do it, Garrett. You think we should do it? I think we should, guys. It's a trade that if we don't take take the trade now, we're not gonna have the option in the future, or we probably won't. So I think it's worthwhile to just get it done. And we are not trading it straight up. I just want to say that again. I'm not sure where he wants the truck, but we're we're gonna pay another 10 10 G's for it. So uh, that that's a fairly new truck. And then this is a 2011, like I said. So yeah, we are in years we're downgrading, but an engine and just truck guys. This thing is a beast. It's in <laughs> actually like really good shape. I'm I'm really happy with it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead. We'll take it off Carlos's hands there. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. This is a big moment at the farm, guys. We are stepping it up. There we go. Okay, the dually, the spacings are, like, not spaced out that much, but really, I really have no complaints on the truck so far. And the interior looks really nice. We have, uh, 
Yeah, it's super good. We have a lot of space in the back. Fords are known for their crew, for the back seat space. Squad's F-150. You could literally, like, that's an, it's like a hotel room. It, it's insane. It's so big. Okay. There it's we like go. a hotel Perfect. room. I don't know what kind of hotel is yours in. It is big, but. It is big. Okay. I, 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 Wait, I where are we that. taking the eggs? Um, yeah, we actually should probably check them. Maybe let's pull over to the side for now. Yep. Gotcha. And we can check it out to see how they sell them. There we go. Let's see, what are what are commodity prices here of the eggs? How are they doing? Uh we're looking at the restaurant. Restaurant's okay. got us at twenty nine hundred. Ooh, which okay. Is right, so I think we just oh yeah, it's gonna we just passed it. It's right behind us. Yeah. Okay, perfect. It's right it's this turn here, right? Yep. Oh, okay. Better make the turn before I back you up. <laughs> there we go. Okay, very cool guys. Let me know what you think of the F-350 Super Duty Power Shrug Boys. Ooh, okay. We got 600, 600 so far. That was far. from one box. My yeah, crack. we still have a lot of boxes. Yeah, I believe that was one box that got sold there. Another There's another 400. 400. Oh, oh, no. Oh! <laughs> Where did there the eggs we go. go? Okay, per I think they all shook off there. So, okay. about all of them sold for 400. You guys saw how the price was going down. That That is... A demonstration of supply and demand. Oh, I don't even think the price did change in time. It doesn't refresh fast enough. Anyway, there we go. Sticky price theory right there, Garrett. Yeah. You know yeah, what that so, is? Well, first off, we got around 3000 That's the first thing I want to say. For anyone good. who didn't realize, we're at like $17,000. Now we're at 20000 There we go. Very good. So we're going like to go ahead, head back. I know, Garrett, I know our sprayer is out of, out of herbicide, and we're going to need to fill her up. And because we got we got a lot of weeds everywhere, we're gonna need to take care of that. I want to prep for for mowing here. We're gonna have a huge, huge mowing day probably tomorrow, if the weather permits. If it doesn't rain, we're gonna go ahead mow and do a lot of raking, making a lot of hay, windrow it up, and then make it into hay bales. And we, yeah, we get a lot of work on that end. Sounds good. Sounds good. Jeez. Is the Mandra slow or something? I'm not going too fast, am I? Uh, no, I'm just keeping my distance. It, guys, it's a very light vehicle, so around corners and stuff, it That's true. likes to pick up a bit. <laughs> that is true. Okay, so go ahead, take her nice and slow. I don't, I can't remember. Again, guys, we are, like, we're only like two weeks into the game, and I can't remember if we can spray once the crops are ready to be harvested. I really can't. Hopefully, we can spray the grass. I think we can. So, uh,. Oh, do we have pesticide on the farm? We, you might have to go back to the shop and fill up. Okay. That's something that I just don't know. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to park this on the side of our garage here. Okay. I really have no purpose for it as of this moment, but I want to okay, keep I'm, it out. I'm going to back up a ton and park it kind of on the side too. Park it right here. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So that is the move. So go ahead and pick that up. I'm going to... Take Clarence, and I want to look at a few things on the farm, and I want to go visit our fields. We haven't been to field 17, 16, 15, 14 in a while. Oh, I think the soybeans. We kind of forgot about the soybeans <laughs> here. They There was a bunch of dew there. I think they were a little too moist for us to pull, but I think I'm going to go check on them and make sure that they're dry. Okay. Just and looking then, at our bags right now to see what we currently have in supply. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure. I know we have a huge tank of pesticide, sorry, herbicide at the at the shop, so you should be able to pick that up. Yeah, okay. So do you think I should take our new truck down, or what's your thought with no, that No, go one? pick it up. You can just take the take the sprayer down there. It's good on the highway. It's okay. actually, like, really, really good on the highway. Okay, okay. There we'll we do it. Yeah, so this is what we're going to be harvesting here, guys. This whole entire grass field, we're going to mow it up, tether it, Make it into hay, windrow it, and then go ahead. Put some in the loading wagon, but most of it we're going to put into straw bales. Put it onto the PJ trailer, guys. There's a new mod that we have out that I don't want to show you guys just yet, but it's going to give us the ability to pick things up that you couldn't in, like, before. So pretty much you get jacked in FS19 <laughs> if you download this mod. That's pretty much what I'm saying. But, yeah, I'll have to show pretty you guys cool. that shortly. I'm, I'm about up to your little campsite here garrett <laughs> <laughs> that's there awesome the view the view is super good though i really like the view okay that's why i go up there so much 
I think we got a problem. Oh no, that's never good. I Spencer. thought we didn't have crop withering on. Uh oh no, I, I think we do. Um, I thought we what turned happened? that off. They're withered. Same with no. our wheat. I think we yeah. So we were waiting too long for the soybeans to dry up, guys, and uh, we lost them. That is not good news. That is a big expense right there. And we still got our straw bales out here. So we have a lot of work to do. We're going to be coming back. Um, yeah, we need you to spray. We're probably going to use the F-350 to pick up straw bales. I guess I will be showing you guys that new mod. So that might be a thing. So be okay. I'm going to come back with Clarence, grab the F-350. We're going to hook up to the PJ trailer. I know you guys want to see the PJ trailer on that bad boy. And we'll see how many bales she can carry. And, yeah, it's going to be really easy to pick up because we can pick them up with our hands now. <laughs> That's probably the cool. move. So head straight up to uh, head straight up to field 1716 for me okay. when we get back. Yeah, I'm just right now still heading to the shop almost there. And, guys, I want to say our, our new truck that we got, uh, it was made by Expendables Modding. So I just want to give them a shout-out. Lots of people I've seen re-upload the mod and stuff, but I we saw it first on the Expendables Modding Facebook page. Yeah, and if you guys want to join their Facebook page, like, it's completely free. I'm joined in it. The squad's in it. I think Garrett's in it. Like, yep. it's a good community to be in if you guys are really into 19 fs19 it would just farm somewhere in general and you guys like the mod aspect of it make sure jordan will go ahead and link it in the description okay so there we are i'm gonna go ahead and hook up with the 350 we'll get going here i wonder if clarence is at 100 percent i've been riding them for a while let's see Clarence is only at 50 percent i feel like as they get more skilled it's harder to get them to their daily riding capacity yeah, does it kind of seems like that. It, it does kind of seem like that. I wonder. It just seems like Clarence has taken forever. And we're only at 50%. I've been, I have been—I rode him all the way up to our field. Okay, where do you go now? There he is. He should be dirty, too. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Uh, anyway, there we go. Let's go ahead and jump in 350. We got to feed Rocky. We got to pet him. There we go. Speaking of that, guys... I saw some comments saying that we haven't been feeding our dog and stuff, and we're bad pet owners and stuff. We Every have time, been, just not on camera. Every time I run by him, I feel like I feed him. I feel like I feed him too much. Maybe I, maybe I don't point it out as much yeah. as I probably should be. I should probably do that more often. So there we go. We fed Rocky for the day. Don't, yeah, guys, don't worry about it. We're, but you, they're good. They're good. They're just looking out for, for Rocky. That's all. We, yeah. we can't blame them for that. Yeah, but just want to let you guys know, though, we're, we're pretty good pet, pet owners. We we have been feeding it maybe a bit too much. <laughs> All right, I'm hooking up here with the PJ trailer. And then I'm going to go ahead, head up to our fields. And hopefully by the time I get up there, you're up there. And we can kind of tag team that. And uh, I'll probably need your help lifting the bales up. Ooh, okay. I, I, you know I have pretty big muscles, so... You do. I'll, I'll do. I'll do some heavy lifting, I guess. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys. I'll see you when we're up there. All right, guys. I was just admiring the Ford as we were climbing this hill. Beautifully realistic. I mean, we're kind of the pizza tree is pretty big, and and we are going up super steep hills. So I'm, gonna t I'm keeping her under 15 as we get up here, and uh, she's looking really good. Okay, I still got to pay attention, but oh my goodness, I love like the chrome all in the front, the bumper, the grill, the cow pusher. At least that's what I call it. The old cow pusher and uh yeah it looks really good okay stay on the road still getting used to turning and i'm trying to look at it oh my goodness that looks good just the sun hitting it the color very good garrett didn't you or no this was the i thought there were two different types of colors anyway there we go let's go ahead pull up here i'm gonna yeah if you want to spray yeah sounds good and then i'll let you kind of i guess i'll probably have to get out of your way i'll let you go by once at least there are a bunch of straw bales in here that we got to kind of clean up. I know we took a bunch, and then our trailer was full. We had to go sell them, and we couldn't get back in time. The day was down, and uh, yeah. Guys, quick question. Comment section. I'm not going to do it in today's video, but can we harvest withered wheat? Is that a is that a thing? Can we can we harvest it? I Obviously, the yield is super bad if we can, but is it possible I guess we could grab the harvester and kind of see if she'll run, but I don't know. I, I was kind of curious if you guys had any input on that. Okay. Yeah, so go ahead. 
spray here for me and then it seems like all the bales are on the right side we were able to clear a lot all right guys yeah. i'm going to show you this new mod that we can carry straw bales so this is going to be like insanely fast lots of fun and uh actually realistic because i feel my whole entire time playing farm somewhere and i think garrett said this too like in real life you can carry you can carry straw bales what they're about 60 65 pounds like yeah. that is sure some people um can't do it but you uh, you can realistically you should be able am i stuck yeah i was just kind of stuck for a second i don't know i think it's you are a little divot um okay there we go but you should be able to carry a 60 pound bale like that's not 60 pounds is not that much like that is totally doable so it's cool and i think this mod is really gonna actually make things more realistic than not which i'm excited about yeah and guys obviously we're gonna we're not lifting up full trees or anything with the mod it's simply just so we can budge bales and stuff a bit because realistically that's how it is <laughs> yeah we're gonna have a comprehensive review about this mod and many other new mods that are kind of help the play of the game and we're gonna i'm gonna start making a mod like i don't want to say showcase more of just i think i might call it just modding monday where i go through some of my favorite mods of the week some of the new releases test them out show them to you guys and recommend it and yeah because i know some of you guys are like oh i don't download all these mods so maybe if i give my two cents on it you guys might uh find that interesting so just a heads up and just kind of a plan a little mini series that i was going to do for the channel especially all these new mods are getting released people don't know what's good what's bad and maybe want to see it before they press download i think that'll be nice yeah pretty cool pretty cool because I am always skeptic about the mods. And I don't want you guys, like, breaking computers. Whenever you download mod, watch a video before you do it. Show It'll show you how to. It's kind of sketchy. But, yeah, make sure you're doing the right thing. Yeah. And, guys, again, we're trying to help out as best as we can with that. And also, in that series, uh, the goal is to try providing links. Like, the actual original links. At least as best as we can. Yeah. And uh, the credit to the modder yeah. who made it. Like, we hate when people repost. If we can find the the credits and really get that out there if you're a modder actually like if you're watching this and you mod and and you do a lot of modding on on 19 or just farm similar in general let me know in the comments uh dm me on instagram whatever uh, that's also in the description discord and uh we can talk about it and i'd love to get you guys making awesome mods for the channel yeah and obviously guys the modders we want to uh like shout them out and support them as best as we can so yeah, speaking of which, too, guys, in that series, if we ever give credit to the wrong person and let you're 100% sure about that, yeah, let us know. 100% let us know. Sure. We will try our best to let the audience know who the actual creator is. Yeah, so, guys, right now, I am I'm doing this. I am working the bales, and you're able to carry them, and it's super... Everything seems to be working just fine. There's no collisions. So I'm, again, I am going to give her a full review, but super cool mod that we're able to like this is going to be quite fast what we're actually doing here yeah and there if, are a lot of bells though so don't if don't we have three people though if we have three people <laughs> one one driver two lifters oh yeah like oh my goodness that would be so nice yeah especially if we had a like, driver like driving the whole time that'd be awesome and see i can just walk up my little stairs that i make Ooh. and then Look at that. There we go. We can just place the bales. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build up the stairs. And so I can walk. Obviously, I can't stack bales like 20, 20 bales high on my feet. I have to I have to climb up the stairs. So that is going to be my strategy here, guys. This is going to be this is going to be kind of interesting. Yeah, let me know when you're done spraying, Garrett. We'd love to have you. Yeah, I'm being blocked by some bales it seems right now. I'm actually going to turn really? this off okay. for a sec. Is it, yeah. Are you saying I'm not doing a good job, or? Uh, well, just you, you're not slow. in my path. I am kind right. of doing this in a weird way, like I'm kind of going with some weird uh, shaped rows. Gotcha. So I'll I'll blame it on me too. <laughs> All right, so there we go, guys. I probably should be strapping these down as I am moving in the trailer. That is probably pretty important to actually use the traps that are on the trailer. Okay, let's go ahead and pull around here. I wonder how many bales we can fit on here. I'm super excited. To get this bad boy loaded up that is and we're gonna be testing out the f-350 how much power does she have how strong is she and uh 
Will she be able to handle her? I do not know. It'd be interesting there. Yeah, it's a good first test for our new vehicle. <laughs> that is for sure. I wonder if I get it so high that it might lean over. I'm a little slanted. Here, is it just me or does Ravenport always seem like we're just never on level ground? Oh, yeah, no, I I think it's just there's no flat land on this whole map. Like, it's in guys, we've seen people like upload versions of this map that are like flat and stuff or just a bit more flat because the way it currently is, it's not really usable for most of the land. That is true, yeah. So maybe we'll be reviewing that map and letting people know if it's worth it to get that flat. And it might be. I'm, I'm actually, that's one of the things yeah. I want to do. Uh, is test out new Ravenport maps. I love the concept, love like where we're at, but if it, the only negative, obviously, is the land. I feel like I complain about that almost every single Let's <laughs> Farm video that we do. Okay, can I get up here? Awesome. Ooh, I, I see you climbing that staircase you built. I see you, I see you. We built. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh no, I dropped it. <laughs> No, you're good. Okay, there we go. Do, do, do. Oh, I just knocked that bail. No worries. And place. Yeah, so actually it's a lot quicker than, you know, bail spikes and whatever piece of equipment we're using. Going by hand is a lot easier, a lot faster, and a lot more, I think, realistic. Obviously, round bails, you need to spike those. You cannot carry a round <laughs> bail. I guess if you have like, five, like 10 people, I feel like you could, but... Obviously, you're going to need, um, you can just carry, yeah, I always dislike that, but now we can, uh, turn the tables, start lifting. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. So I thought I could pull this up and just use the back by itself, but apparently not. <laughs> no, the back is fertilizer. Yeah. Yeah. I realize that now I turned it on. I'm like, that's not what I was looking for. Yeah, the back's fertilizer. You need to keep your wands on, and the wands are way bigger than the back as well, obviously. Yeah, I was just trying to do this last little strip, so I didn't want to waste too much I popped since we the just wheelie. filled our tanks. I popped the wheelie when I took off, so I should probably start putting weight over the PJ trailer itself, but we were going uphill, too. Does the field, it feels a little wet, guys. That, we were waiting on soybeans. It's been raining, actually, like quite a bit. The soybeans were wet, and we, we were waiting. My tires are already getting pretty muddy. It's <laughs> there we go. The tires on the F three fifty are mud. Tay, we'll have to take her on the power wash. Ooh, I and mean, guys, I don't know if you realize, but we have been buying some more power washers in these videos, um, like off camera. We have quite a few at the farm now. Yeah, I think we have three, and they are cheap. They're like industrial grade, really nice, meant for big, you know, equipment after harvest season. Mm -hmm. There we go. You almost done spraying? Yep. Please, Gary, yeah. We just, don't gotta. How big is our field? I didn't think we bought <laughs> that big one. Yeah, no, there's like this little strip that I have to do because it's just not wide enough to do uh, two passes on. All right, guys. I'll see you when we uh, when we got this bad boy loaded up. All right, guys. We have been putting in work. So the system is make a stair step so you can crawl up and then you go right here. So obviously the stairs just get steeper and steeper. And so, yeah, that's kind of the move. You can't really <laughs> see anything as you run up here, but then you... And straight now and yeah things are coming together garrett this is insane so much weight dude yeah do, do you want to know something though weird the staircase works pretty good <laughs> the staircase works beautifully and it's not weird it's it's awesome i love it like but it like like i don't know it's it also you didn't like, think it, it would adds, work is that what you're saying i thought it would work just i thought it would be like a little bit weird and i don't know like with this uh straw and stuff like we can walk up with comfortable like it's kind of like padded uh padding for our feet <laughs> yeah it's very nice so yeah things are coming together real good yeah make sure to throw a few straps on those uh okay is we need one more till we'll add another level how many we have one two three four bales left four bales left can we so one right there and then okay yeah this thing oh you know what we can do wait one two three four oh okay oh no we have five there's an oh dude. okay we're gonna see how this works here. I'll go ahead and shut her down. I was gonna I was about to say, Garrett, we can we could have like filled the whole one, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, we might be able let's see, let's see. If we might, go higher. This might be perfect. No, don't go higher. We might be okay. the perfect amount of bales. Very curious to see if this works. 
One, oh, two, okay. three, four. Uh, yeah, this is gonna work. Oh, that's awesome. This should work. It's meant to be. It is meant to be. Uh oh. Oh no, we lost one. Okay, there oh, we go. Oh no. We're good. We're good. There we go. It's it's kind of like I I have my mouth open. I can't talk when I'm doing this. I have my <laughs> mouth open. It's like working with. It's like it's like that doctor game where you gotta like take the heart out. You know. Yeah. I think uh, when you walked on here, it kind of like uh, pushed down a bit. <laughs> what did? Like the back of the trailer. Here, when you go up again, I'll I'll look. It does. <laughs> You're weighing it down, Spencer. A little bit. Okay, it is hard to place it. It doesn't want to go. Okay, here, do you want me to try? Yeah, see if you can try it. For some reason, maybe we can just Let's maybe rotate angle. her. Wait, you can rotate it? Yeah, you hold down your. What? No way you've been doing I this. I did not rotating. know that. Yeah, use both your hands. You can rotate. No, uh, use your middle click on your mouse. Oh my. Hold it down. It, Spencer, I believe that was in the last game. You too. hold it down and do what? You hold down oh. the mouse. Yeah. What is this? I had no clue. <laughs> it was in FS17 too, I think. That would help so much. That's awesome. <laughs> Love okay. it. Um. What's colliding? Now it seems like there's like... Oh, no. I'm good. Oh, sometimes when the straps are down, it does like a few extra. So, here, let me... Yeah, maybe there. detach. Yeah. Remove some straps. I'll push this. Okay. Okay, you see... Uh, yeah, it's not letting me close there. the gap. There you go. Okay. Cool, okay. cool. There's one, two, and three. So, Garrett, if we can place one up top here... And then the two on the bottom, that's going to be perfect. Okay. I'll, uh, let, I'll let you try and get the top one. So you want one? Uh, oh, this is going to be Here, this fun. is how we're going to do it. You're going to just, you might have to hand it to me. I might jump up there. You're going to throw it to me. I'll catch it. And then okay. that might make things, make our lives a little easier. You're gonna yeah, to... it's just out of my reach. <laughs> okay, ready? Here, I'll place it yep. here. There you go. Pick Got it, it. Pick it up fast. There we go. Okay. Pulled it back. Okay, strap her down. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now place the two. Oh my goodness, this is oh. this is a legendary load. Okay, if we had one more bail, this would be. We, there's probably one somewhere in this field no, that we just probably don't is. see. <laughs> there probably is, and I know there's one like kind of out of place. So, do you think we're gonna sell these, or what's your thought? Yes, we are going to sell these. We're, yep. we're selling all of them. So there we go. Load the last one up, Garrett. We are going to sell this the start of next episode. So, guys, if you want to see how much we get for this, I'm super curious. Whenever we let's farm episode 12. This is episode 11. The next episode, we will be we'll be selling this load. So make sure to keep stay tuned for that. I will see you guys next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.